local weather with meteorologist Rebecca Velasquez. Not looking at much activity currently on our shipping radar brought to you by Ewan Myung. We saw a few sprinkles in Chico County earlier that's quickly passed through. And now we're seeing a few sprinkles in Catahoula and Concordia Parish. But most of the rain that we're keeping our eye on is in southern Mississippi. We're staying dry across the Arklamas, leaving for a perfect college football Friday afternoon. If you're heading out to the ULM game, it is going to be hot, but at least we will be rain free. We've seen those showers in Chico County kind of develop and then move northward, but not really seeing much in regards to rain. We could have some potential for seeing some rain this afternoon, but staying clear in regards to that. So tropics has been flaring up. We currently have three systems that we're keeping our eye on. Hurricane Jose, Tropical Storm Maria, and Tropical Storm Lee. So we're going to break that down for you because we have quite a lot going on. So currently, Hurricane Jose is well off in the Atlantic. And not sure why, Jose is just wanting to disappear. But we also have Tropical Storm Maria. This was named earlier this afternoon, earlier this morning. And this is expected to continue to reach hurricane strength by in the next couple of days or so often. And then behind Maria, we are keeping our eye on Tropical storm lane not expecting to affect any landfall whatsoever but it is interesting to look out because we have seen we don't normally see hurricanes or you know tropical storms we don't normally see this sort of thing develop so far out in the Atlantic so Lee is going to continue to move westward about 10 miles per hour but not expected to reach category strength the one that we are keeping our eye on is tropical storm Maria just east of the Leeward Islands. It is expected to reach Category 1 hurricane strength to affect the same area that was affected by Hurricane Irma. So it is expected to reach Category 1 strength by the Leeward Islands and then it could affect more of the Caribbean similar to what we saw with Irma. So we are going to keep our, keep our eye on Maria. Now with Jose, not expected to make landfall, expected to stay. Category 1 strength but could bring high surf and rip current concern to the east portion of the U.S., but still, none of those systems are affecting the Arklamas or will affect the Arklamas. Good news, but I guess bad news in that it's pretty hot for this time of year. We're feeling more like summertime. Temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s across the Arklamas, but it feels like the 90s. Earlier this afternoon, Camden actually felt like 100 degrees, so we saw our first triple degree heat indices for this afternoon. Now, dew points not too shabby in the upper 60s, so it's not cooling, feeling quite as muggy, and it won't as we head into the overnight hours. Overnight lows expected to be in the upper 60s, low 70s. So, as we continue throughout the night tonight, we're going to start to see some clouds develop throughout the Arklamas. We're going to be keeping our eye on a chance for scattered showers early tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. So, maybe as you're leaving church, you're going to want an umbrella, but for the most part, are very scattered, very isolated. Most of us won't even see rain tomorrow. And then that'll kind of cool temperatures down to the upper 80s and low 90s. Now we are going to be seeing scattered showers sticking around with us for the rest of this work week. But that rain is not going to be cooling us down. Temperatures are going to be in the low 90s as we continue throughout this weekend and as we head into the beginning of next week. So still feeling more like summer, Bonnie, so you may want a bottle of water, but hey, I mean, it's not as hot as what it could be, so. Not too shabby. I like it. <laughs> it's warm. Up next, exciting gridiron action all around the Arklamas, plus so much more highlights, previews.